Faith, you should do something about your absent-mindedness. Might cause a major damage someday. <clears throat> so, what's for lunch? I'm famished. What sort of question is that? Didn't you just hear me say lunch got burnt? What? You didn't cook? You bought pizza for lunch? Where do you think you are? Jake, Jake, look, the last thing I want from you right now is a sermon. I had enough of that in church, thank you. Yes, I did not cook. Eh, hey, what's the big deal? I did not feel like cooking. And so what I did was get pizza and now it's burnt. It's not my fault. If you are hungry, why don't you go into the kitchen and rustle up something and just eat? It's not a sin, is it? You know something? You need deliverance. Yeah, yeah. I guess I do need deliverance. And um, who's the best man to perform the ritual? If not my dear loving husband, Pastor Jake. I'm waiting for you in the bedroom. Let's get started. so fast. Please. I have a board meeting this morning. I'm already running late, okay? The meeting can wait, can't it? You'll agree your wife is more important, won't you? I made it obvious enough. No, 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 not this morning. Okay, please, not this morning. I'm already late. My father will have my skin. You oh. know how he hates for me to be late. I'm sorry, I forgot. That is little boy. Anyway, have you thought of what I talked to you about last week? What? About buying a property in England? Oh, please, Faith, not again. I said I can't afford it. But you can. You can. You're just being mean. Honey, everybody's buying properties abroad. Everybody. Last time I went to England, last summer, I had to stay with a friend. Sweetie, can you imagine the indignities I saw? And you caused it. My father has a house in London, but you'd rather stay with your friends. Why do I have to stay at your father's place when we can buy a house ourselves? Faith, I told you, I cannot afford it. Honey, your father is a chairman of an oil company. Okay? Thank you, you very much. I'm glad you said my father. I work for him. The company belongs to him. The money belongs to him. Okay. What about the money we make in church? Oh my that God. belongs to you, doesn't it? Christ. The money we get from tithe alone is enough to buy a property in England and America and wherever we want. Look at 
Pastor Paul, of Soul Winners. Pastor Afam, they have luxury cars, properties everywhere. My abroad. name is Pastor Jacob Briggs of Faith Foundation Church. I'm not Pastor Afam or Joe or whoever. I will not. Now read my lips. I will never, ever use church funds for personal aggrandizement. Now please don't, don't, don't ever bring this up again, okay? May God deliver you from your vanities. Oh, now, can I have the keys, please? Okay. Be like that then. God will deliver you from your vanities. I'll take it out. Stingy fool! Good morning, sir. Morning, uh, How are you today? I'm fine, thank Is the meeting over yet? No, it's over. Over? Oh my God, how? I think it was a short one, but the father is still in the office. He might be on it. Is he hungry? No. How about the uh, oh. bureau drilling uh, yes, papers? I, I had finished with it, but it's still in the system. Okay, print it and bring it to my office now, now, now. Huh? All right, sir. I made it a short one because I, I have to catch a plane in two hours okay. and I needed to see you. So, Jay, what happened? Domestic problems. As always. I told you. Why don't you, you stop living in dreamland and embrace reality? Throughout that social climber you call a wife, she's bad news. Look, even the good luck. Dad, Dad, don't go there. You know divorce is not an option for me. I forgot, Pastor. But tell me, I wonder why you didn't see through her when you were courting. After all, the, the pastors are supposed to know these things. Yes. Not so? Yes, I believe that the devil set a trap for me and I fell into it. What? <laughs> the Bible also says that everything worked for good for those who love God uh, and I believe that, that she's a cross that I must bear right now but uh, God's purpose for my life will be revealed at some point. Oh I say amen to that pastor. <laughs> amen. Um, son, why have you not um, stopped by the house since I got back from my trip? Oh, are you still Angry because I got married without informing you? What did you expect? How can you meet a girl in America and just marry her? No phone calls, nothing. You didn't tell me, you didn't tell any member of the family from your side. Why would you do a thing like that, Dad? Look at it. At your age, Dad. She's is what, 25 or less than 25? Don't get earlier than thou with me. I've taken the pains to explain to you that I had no choice. Dad, you had a choice. It was a case of a choice between the devil and the deep blue sea. Look. This girl lost everything she had. She lost her entire family in a fire that burnt down her, their whole house. There was nowhere to go. No money. Nothing. I met her at the nick of time. I couldn't allow her to get stranded in a foreign land. She is a Nigerian for crying out loud. I'm from River State, our state. Now, how, 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 how would you like to hear that I leave somebody? That in America, they, there's something called insurance. The insurance could have sorted it out. For Christ's sake, Jake. Insurance companies cannot deal with uh, emotional traumas like that. She needed someone to take her under their wings. 
such a vulnerable moment. Oh yes, and you were just there at the right time and you swooped in and, and took her right under your wings, Dad. That you could have taken her under your wings without marrying her. I, you know your condition. At, at, your, at your age, you don't need an undue excitement like that. Oh, by the way, she just might be after your money. That's what she's doing. Far from it, Jake. Very, very far from it. Oh, I tell you, this girl is the sweetest thing that ever walked the surface of this earth. Oh, yes. I remember when I, you know, you, I, I, you know, I think that you will, look, she is a wonderful girl. When you meet her. I don't want to meet her, Dad. I, I don't want to see her. I don't want to, I don't want to meet her. <laughs> oh, Jake, Jake, Jake. You are still as stubborn as you've always been. Look, don't make any judgment until you see my little angel. She is the best thing to have happened to me since we lost your mother. And you know, she's been gone over 10 years. Jake, I need companionship. Do you want me to die a lonely old man? Oh, Jake. Give an old man a chance. You know I will not be happy until you approve of this girl. You know, To me, the, the, the jewel that nobody else can have. And your approval means a lot to me. Please. Please. Dad, okay, okay. For your sake, I, I, will, I will come. I will, I will meet today, tomorrow. No, no, no. no. Not, 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 not tomorrow. I, I have to travel. Hey, you know, I, 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 I go for uh, treatment on... Oh, uh, yes, that's another issue. That When would you realize that traveling from London to America will not do anything? Why don't you believe that God can heal your heart? Okay, yeah, come to church tomorrow. Ah, Sunday, come to church tomorrow. Thanks, Sunday. but no thanks. I am quite happy with my Baptist church. Now give me my own religion anytime. Okay, then. Son. I'm going to go, otherwise I'll miss my flight. I'll be away for two weeks. When I come back, we'll arrange for you and Faith to come and have either lunch or dinner. Okay, then. Now, yes. yes. Ah, thank you very much. You see, a young man. <laughs> thank you. What did the doctor say now? Mom, the same old thing. He said there's nothing wrong with me. He does not see a reason why I should not conceive. They've been saying that for the past three years. I see you haven't conceived. What will I do now? May I make one again? The only option is to wait on the Lord's hey, time. Hey, Biko, Biko, don't just come with that now. Eh? You've been waiting on the Lord since you got married. Do you think God will come from heaven to perform magic? helps those who help themselves. So what are you suggesting I do? Ah, look, Egondo, there is no history of barrenness in our family. And as far as I know, there is none in your father's family. So the problem didn't just start with you. The problem is with your husband. Look, Egondo, I'm sure he's expecting you to do something, but you are pretending as if you don't understand. And now I don't understand. What are you talking about? Do something like what? Get yourself a boyfriend that looks like him. Sleep with him until you conceive. Then take the pregnancy to your husband. Mommy. What are what you What are you opening your mouth for? 
Don't you know that that is what other people do? If your husband cannot impregnate you, then get the pregnancy from outside and give it to him. Finish! Yeah. At the end of the day, everybody goes home happy. Oh, mama. Don't just deceive yourself with this church business. Oh. He will just find a way to push you out and bring in another woman who will do what you have refused to do. Then he will just pick up a Bible quotation to cover all his actions. Look, human beings are wonderful. Mommy, my husband is not like that. He is not like that at all. He is a pastor. Mm -mm. You could let me hear what, Jerry. Just let me hear what. Pastor, call. Pastor, me. Egondo, I don't want you to lose that man. He comes from a very rich family. And combined with that church, I'm sure money will just be flowing yafu yafu. You have to ensure that your position is safe in that house. You have to ensure that too. Anyway, have you told him what I asked him to do for me? Uh, okay, your um, your Dubai trip. Yes. He gave me a check to cover up your ticket. So that's why I came actually. <gasps> why didn't you tell me this is now? Eh? <laughs> Ego, you see, Jacob is not a man you should joke with. In fact, I have to make sure that you don't make any foolish mistakes. You have to ensure that your position is not threatened in that house. Anyways, I know, I think I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Can I have my check? Okay. <laughs> it's short, anyway. Phew! Oh, Jacob. <laughs> you see what I mean? Mommy, I have to run. Uh, Okay. Just think about what I've said, eh? Mm. <laughs>
is healed. Jesus. I said the Spirit of God is healed. Even the angels are here. And I'm sure that the angels have a thing or two to learn from our choir here. As for this beautiful, perfect creature of God sitting there, <laughs> Strongly anointed man of God like you. I felt the anointing. All the glory goes to God. And I pray God also that he may continue to increase his anointing in you in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. He will take us from place to place. Yes. From one level to another. Yes. From, 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 we will do exploits in his name. Amen. 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 And Pastor Peace, I want to ask for a little favor. Yeah? I would like to have you and Sister Faith in my house for lunch. Can you make it? I don't see why not. We'll be there in, uh, within the hour. Okay. I'll talk to her now and then. Oh Lord, give me the grace to overcome. Give me the grace to overcome. Give me the grace to overcome. such a man as a husband. No oh, is he so good looking. So nice and humble too. Oh, and sister. And he's so rich too. Eh? Come, come, come. I heard his father is loaded. Oh. Yet, he's so down to earth. Are you serious? I admire him so, so much. Ah! That is a real man of God. I'm telling you, my sister. That is a real man of God. If you have any problems, eh, you can go and meet him. He will sit down and listen to anything you have to say to him. Never discriminate. I just love that about him. Um, 
hope his wife appreciates him. For where? That one. I hear she's a screw in the house. She can hug. People should not be deceived by that older than that attitude she puts up in church. Uh, she's not what she seems. I'm a boy. <laughs> How do you know what goes on in their private lives? No, <laughs> don't talk. To stay there. <laughs> I have my ears to the ground. If I tell you anything, it's authentic. She is not what she seems. If I tell you all that I know, you'll be faint with shock. Uh, <laughs> so, are you sure it's not jealous that it's worrying you? Right? I've always known you. you. You had an eye on that pastor. She, our pastor. Uh -huh. But Sister Faith beat you to it and married him. <laughs> See, Sister Chinelo. That woman is a first class schemer. She's not really born again, no. Mm -hmm. She just came into our church, saw a handsome pastor, and decided to set a trap for him. She schemed her way into the choir. Mm -hmm. And before we could shout hallelujah, she had married him. But one day, just one day, she will be disgraced. Mr. Ho, you talk and say Pastor Jake did not have a say in that matter. Eh? Do you know who you are? Why didn't you, why didn't you do your own scheming? You are just a bad loser. That's what you are. So, hey, sister, let us go. I don't have time for, I'm not ready for Sunday morning gossip. <laughs> Changed your mind? Pastor Mecca went through so much trouble to invite us to lunch and, and, and you just sat here and changed your mind? Your Jake, mind. Jake, please, okay? I am not in the mood for this at all. Okay, right now. No, 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 you listen to me. Get you here. listen to me. What? No! Mm. 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 Uh -huh. So what? 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 Okay, yes. Sister Faith drinks. Uh -huh. Now you know. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Faith, why? Christ, why? Why, why what? Why what? Stop whining me. Why would I drink? When all you do is frustrate me daily. You, 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 you're, you're forcing me to live in poverty. Making me a laughing stock in, in, in the society. All because of your stupid principles. And you say I shouldn't drink? Why would I drink? Look, there's only so much a woman can take. Okay, and for me, I see solace in my bottle and there's nothing anybody can do about it. Nothing. You know, it's still a mystery to me how you had me fooled easily. I thought that you, your heart was after the things of God. I didn't know you were so materialistic. Nobody. Faith, nobody in church will believe the level of your depravity. You had me fooled, Faith. So, what are you going to do? <laughs> what? Divorce me? Tell me, how would that look in your squeaky clean records, Pastor Jake? Oh, I could just picture the headlines. <laughs> Pastor Jacob Briggs, a foundation light church involved in messy divorce scandal. Oh, that would really make their day, wouldn't shut it? Up. Just for once in your life, just shut your mouth up. Tell me, why should I shut up? Why? Listen, you're going to listen to the truth whether you like it or not. Look at you. You're useless. You can't even get a woman pregnant. People out there think you're a man. Little did they know you, you're, you're nothing but a joke. A joke, an excuse for a man. That's what you are. You're just busy hiding under the umbrella of Christianity. And that is... Pastor Jacob. I didn't mean that. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm 
sorry, okay. Your car, I, I'll yeah. fix it. I, I, I know it's my fault. It's right. I was careful, but it's strange to see a grown man like you cry. What is it? Can I do anything for you? Just, just let me know. I don't know. You don't know. Well, you're all right. Talk to me. It's, it's okay. Could, all right. Oh, we should go somewhere and talk then, yeah? Right, out. I, I want to thank you for your patience and, and your care and everything, but I still don't want to talk about it. The time, time is far, far spent. I'm sure you were going somewhere before this whole thing happened. Yeah? Well, it's all right. But I want you to know that whatever pain or disappointment or, or problem that you're going through, always remember there is God. Whatever it is, is going to take care of you. Right? All right. Thank you. Fathers for dinner. We, we're supposed to go out together as a couple, please. Honey, come on. Ch child, contribute to make this marriage work, please. Jake, I already told you, I do not feel up to it. I'm not in the mood to go to your father's house today. Jake, Jake, please. God, you're irritating me already. What is it? I said I'm not going with you. This period.
any success. Tell Daddy I'm downstairs. Okay, okay sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, <clears throat> that was why I stayed longer than I intended. You see, Dr. Hammond, you know, he insisted that the exploration should start next year. And I said, no, I refused. Flatly. You know we have spent over one million dollars. Yes. And every day we postpone, we keep spending. So I explained to them. Now I can tell you, our technical partners and Hammond have agreed that we are going to start the full exploration this year. Very good, Dad. Thank you. Very good, but um, I thought that this trip was supposed to be a medical trip and not a business trip. Well, it was a kind of Killing two birds with one stone. Yeah. And since my son is uh, up to his neck with matters of the kingdom, yeah. I mean, that I, I shall continue to I, attend the meetings that he is supposed to attend. That, that I, I do try. <coughs> that if you have told me about this meeting, I would have attended the meeting. I would have gone to the meeting. And then you can. <coughs> Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. John, is that the phone? This is nice. Excuse me. Mm. Chief Harcourt is on the line. Harcourt? Yes. Tonya, I have been expecting this call. Back in the morning. Brilliant performance. You deserve an Oscar. And you helped me out. What else could, what else could I have said? Please, I beg you. Do not let him know. No, I am going to die. You are either very naive or you are a damn good actress. Why would I do that? He's my father for Christ's sake. I care about his health. Of course I'm involved. I'm not going to say anything to him. Please, 
I never saw you, I never met you, I don't know you, and no more dramatics, okay? But, but I just don't shut know what... Shut up, shut up. Can you imagine they want me to run for Senate? <laughs> How many times will I tell them that I'm not interested in politics? That it is a dirty game and I, I can't afford to join. But Tonya keeps badgering me. Keeps badgering me to, 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 to run for, the, for, for it. And he knows. He knows how strongly I feel about the, 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 the state of affairs in this country. It will take God, God himself to come down and rule to get any kind of sanity, uh, uh, sanity in this country. I mean, ah, the corruption is amazing. Dad. The looting of the treasury, the, 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 the display of ill-gotten wealth. Dad, yeah. Dad. Dad. Yes, please, let, let's, yes, let's not talk about politics today. Because if you start your speech now about the state of, the, of affairs of this country, <laughs> we will not leave here. We will stay for another one week and dinner will be ruined. Oh, uh, you know, I get so angry when I hear how those Dad. boys spend our, our money. Dad. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> now, my dear son, what do you think of my princess? Like you described her. Very beautiful. Mm. I just hope that everything that glitters is all gold this time. Oh, my boy. Yes, pure gold. Pure gold. My dear. What do you think of my son? Well, now. Uh... It's hard to believe he's a pastor. He doesn't look anything like it. How do pastors look? Prima and proper, holy. <laughs> well, you sure look very dangerous, I must say. Suggesting is totally inconceivable. I can't do it. I can't. Egon, Egon, do take action now before you find yourself on the streets of Lagos, and then don't even think of coming back to this place. Don't think of coming to my house. You were the one that said the quarrels are getting out of hand. That's how it starts. So just like that, a wise woman does not fold her arms and watch while her roof is burning. Egon, do hey. Stop worrying. Don't worry about us. When the baby is ready to come, it will. Okay? As for Jake, I can take care of him. I can handle him. Don't bother. Okay. Oh. Ah. Mm. If you say so. <laughs> oh, Dad. Yes, Dad. Well, Dad, you, you, you know how it is. Um, well, I, I've been busy. You know the church is still growing, so it actually does need my full attention. I need to be there. Dad, that is not that. There are not excuses. What will I have against your wife? <laughs> Dad, you never cease to amaze me. Co cocktails. Cocktails for what? In honor of? That you, you know how I am with those things. I, I'm not a one for parties. And... All right, Dad, if it will make you happy, I will be there. Yes, Dad, with faith. Okay, see you on Thursday, Dad. Yes, Dad. Bye, Dad.
Very difficult to do. What? Pretending that there's nothing happening between us. Is there? Isn't there? What is this, Jay? What are you trying to do? It is called temptation. And may we not fall into it, O oh Lord. Amen. You see, the only solution to this thing is. We just have to stay apart from each other. That's what I'm trying to do, okay? I will. By the way, you look stunning tonight. So do you. Thank you. Um, has anybody ever told you the meaning of your name? Hello, darling. Hi. I was just <laughs> sharing some things with uh, Hi, Eve here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's fine. You, you, you okay? Do you want a drink, girl? Let's get back to the propose a toast and I hope you don't mind the wine that I've asked John to share is non-alcoholic wine. I told my father that I cannot propose his toast with the alcoholic wine so you bear with me. But of course if the poison you have already is uh, you're comfortable with it go ahead and, <laughs> and, and use that. Anyway I, I want to propose a toast to one of Nigeria's finest. I want to propose a toast 
to a giant in corporate Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I want to propose a toast to a man who has made this country proud. Mm -hmm. A man who at 64 stands like a 40 year young man. Really? <laughs> <laughs> a man who has given me so much that I don't know where I will be today without him. Mm -hmm. A man who is not just a father, but a good husband. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to propose a toast to His Excellency, Ambassador Briggs, my father, and your friend. Yeah. <laughs> Let us raise our glasses. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. My dear, oh my dear. Hip, hip, hip. Hooray! For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. what I am saying. Save the righteous act for your congregation, okay? Perfect, Pastor Jake. I caught you. Caught me doing what? Are you nuts? You couldn't even hide it. It's obvious you're attracted to the girl. Attracted to your father's wife. Now let me sound a note. No, 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 Faith. Let me sound a note of warning to you. You better watch your mouth. Your excesses are getting too much. I don't know what kind of fertile imagination you have, but don't ever mention that again. Goodness!
Steve, how are you? Welcome back. I hope no problem, eh? Well, no problem, really. Um, a little something has cropped up from uh, uh, in Abuja. I have to go and sort it out. As a matter of fact, I'm on my way there. Oh, okay. But I would like you to do me a favor while I'm away. Name it. Well, Evelyn is not feeling very well. And um, I would like you to um, call her and call on her while I'm away. I'll be away for three days. Well, I... I... What about John? Certainly John will be able to look in on her whilst, whilst you're gone. That, you, you know my schedule, I might not have the oh, time. Oh, hey, Dave, please. Do I usually ask favor of you? Is looking after my wife too much to ask? I'm sorry, Dad, no it's not. Oh, well, I guess I can, you know, squeeze in a, a few minutes and look in on her whilst you're gone. Alright. Thank you. I owe you one. Well, I, I have to go. I'll, I'll, I'll call you from Abuja. Okay. Oh, by the way, um, did you get a fax from Canada on relation to the, the Barrow Drilling, the Barrow Drilling I Project? Did, I did. I, I, and I sent a, a reply about this morning. And uh, from the way things are going, I should be able to get them in here in a fortnight or so for a meeting. Oh, very brilliant. Very, very brilliant. I like that. I like to tie up that deal as soon as possible. It's <laughs> done, man. It's done. It's done. Thank you. Done. Okay. All right. Oh. Don't forget your promise. On a scout order, I will forget. Thank you. This house. I have a right to be here. Well, he's not around. I know that. He asked me to come looking at you that you were not feeling too well. God. I told him not to do that. Oh, well, well, as you can see, I, I am fine. Well, why are you being so aggressive? I don't like being here any more than you want me to be here. I'm just here to obey my father's wishes. I'm sorry, I, I, I just... Um... Look, I understand. But you see, no matter how much we try to avoid each other, <laughs> the truth is you're married to my father, so we don't have to always fall out when we meet each other because our paths will always cross every now and again. Do you want to come in? No, no, no. I'm fine. What about you? Are you all right? I'm not doing badly. Don't worry about me. I guess it's just skills that is eating me up. We don't have to torment each other or torment ourselves. All we need to do is just try and put this whole thing behind us. That's what we need to do. Can you? Can I what? Can you really put what happened between us out of your mind? Well, if you can, I can't. God, I have told him nothing but you ever since the day we met. I was beginning to forget about you. Only for me to walk into the dinner that day. And lo and behold, my stepson, in whom I was looking forward to meeting, turned out to be my mystery lover. The object of my dream. The man that had broken everything that was dead within me. If I did not die of shock, that did damage. Shock can never kill me. My, my husband is not even helping matters. Troy 
join us to get us every little opportunity. Oh, God. If only he knows. If only he knows that the true, the two people that he trusts so much in this world. That they have ended up betraying him. He's stop, got, stop do it. you know how Stop it right now. Okay, just stop. Oh, God, Can't you see? Do you know how I feel as well? I mean, to be attracted so strongly to your father's wife. Not just as a married man, but as a pastor. I'm a man of God. I'm supposed to be a man of God. I feel like a fraud. Standing in front of my congregation every now and again and preaching with other lustful thoughts in my heart. Please, Eve, don't, don't do that. Don't, don't start crying. You, you tear me apart when you do that. If you continue like that, I'm going to have to hold you and console you, and I don't want to do that. All I was saying is John walks in here now and, and, and sees you in my arms. John is not at home. He's going to the market. He's not? Yes. Oh, that's the one more reason why I should be getting out of here right now. Well, you can't leave. I am. <laughs> no, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. I gotta go. Don't. you know you're no longer a baby Christian. Yes, Pastor. It is not everything that you need to run to Pastor. Yes, Pastor. Okay? Don't run to me all the time. Yes, Sometimes you can sit down in the house, take authority and pray for yourself. Okay. Yes, Alright, tell tell Sister Uche to bring in the next person. Yes, Pastor. <laughs> Pastor Vega. <laughs> Don't tell me you came for cancer. <laughs> no, I didn't come for but you know, at times we pastors need to seek counseling, and that's why I'm here. Yeah? Are you alright? With me, yes. I don't know about you. How do you mean? Well, um, JB, you see, you appear bothered. You appear as if there's something weighing you down. I Even your sermon has started losing flavor. Oh. <laughs> Are you saying the anointing has left me? No, 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 I'm not saying that. Actually, I'm not saying anything like that. But you know, JB, apart from being your associate, I am your brother. If there's anything the matter, if there's anything wrong, we could take it together to God in prayer. Because after all, the Bible says that if two people shall agree as touching anything they shall ask, it shall be done of them by the Lord. The Bible will oh, oh. So I'm okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine. Okay? I, I guess it's just the... Body of running the ministry and also running my father's business. It's, the volume of work is just weighing me down. Well, I hope that is all there is to it, Pastor, because if there's any problem, the church is always there for you. We could take it to God in prayer. The church can even declare a fast, brother. I, I... <laughs> Look, it's okay. Um, I think the work, work has just been so much for me. Well, if you say so, I, I, I want you to know that the Lord is your strength anytime. Amen. I, 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 look, I'm okay. It's, it's just the work, okay? It's okay. All the same, let's pray. Almighty Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you for the opportunity to spread the truth. Funny at all. I know, I know, I'm an anna. There is something wrong. Definitely. I feel it. The only thing is, I cannot lay my finger on what it is. Because he's suddenly so distant. Do you understand? He doesn't even talk to me. Mm -hmm. I've been telling you this. 
Mwan, it has happened. I have been telling you that men are the same all over. Hmm. It is because you haven't given him a child. This is how it starts. From silence in the house to small, small quarrels here and there. And before you know it, before you know it, another woman has entered with pregnancy. You see it. I'm sure you've not done what I told you to do. Egondo. Egondo. I am your mother. And I've been telling you that that man is sterile. Hmm. Mommy, I have something to tell you. Eh? What? Are you. Mommy, wait. I don't think Jake is sterile. I'm the one who can't spare children. What nonsense is coming out of your mouth? Eh? Yeah! Say to Fiakwa. Don't ever repeat it. Mommy, listen to me. It's the truth. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't keep it inside anymore. I have to let it out. <sighs> Mommy, do you remember when I was ill? I was admitted in the hospital for about two weeks. Mm -hmm. Yes. When you said you had your appendix removed. Hmm? Mommy. Mommy wasn't appendicitis. I had an abortion. Hmm? It was badly done and it affected my womb. Mommy, they had to remove it. How? Hey! 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 Okay. Mommy, it's wicked. Mommy, please. I'm sorry. Look, it wasn't, it wasn't my fault at all. They said if I didn't remove it, I would die. Do you understand? The doctor said even if it was just within a week. I Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me? Egon, why didn't you tell me? How? Chineke. Mm. Mm. Oh. anything about this before. No, I, I haven't, but I... Hey! Just make sure you don't ever, ever tell him. Hmm? You have to keep pretending that everything is all right. We have to go to Baba at the cotton. Yes. He will help us do something so that he will not look at any other woman. That is it. That is the only thing we can do now, as things are. Which Baba is this? In Ikotu? What for? This girl is stupid. So, now that you cannot give him a child, you think he will keep keeping you in this house so that he will continue to eat his money? Okay? Is that what you think? If that is your belief, then you are very stupid. <sighs> the only thing to do now is to do everything that will keep him. And Baba is the answer. He did it for Mama Bosse's daughter when she was thrown out of her house by her husband because of another woman. Hmm. When Baba finished his work, the man ran back to Mama Bosse's house to
to beg for Bosse to come back to him. He even begged her with a Lexus Jeep. Yes. Mommy, mommy, please, forget this. Leave. And there's no way I'm going to any juju man. Uh -huh. Hey! Mwam, Christiana. <laughs> okay. If your life, if you don't want to do it, just make sure you don't come back running back to me. Begging me. Don't ever try it. Don't ever, ever try it. Where's John? Okay, okay. Um, just hang in there. Uh, I'll be there in uh, say ten, uh, 20, 30 minutes. Okay, see you now. Who was that? It's my father's wife. She fell and sprained her ankle. She needs help. I didn't know one of your many talents included that of medicine. When did you become a doctor, Jake? Oh, Faith, please. There's, there's no need for that. My father is not in town and, and she needs help. And one call gets her knight in shining armor flying straight to the rescue in the middle of the night. <sighs> this makes me wonder if there isn't more to this than meets the eye. Faith, whatever your fertile imagination cares to dig up now is not relevant. That girl is injured and she needs help. And I'm going to give it to her. And that's all there is to it. my balance and I fell down. I think I sprained my ankle. The pain was so intense that I thought I needed to go to the hospital. That's why I called you. But I'm sorry to have bothered you. No, no, it's just not a bother. Are you, you sure you're okay now? I am. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm feeling much better. Yeah. I have to put a pack of eyes in it. No, it's okay. Hey, you, you know, you, you really didn't need to call me, you know. And you didn't need to respond if you didn't want to. Listen, let me, let me take a look at that ankle, all right? Yeah. I just want to massage it a little bit. Yeah, right? Yeah. Sorry. Okay, sorry. Here, right? Yeah, better. Good. It's better? Mm-hmm. Jake. Hmm? 